Hello and welcome back to the Out of the Fog podcast. I'm the host Christina Grace and we've got a bit of a different situation this week. So you may have been wondering what's happened to us. We've kind of gone a bit radio silent lately and there's a few reasons. There's a couple of reasons. It started off being me looking after my own mental health and For anyone who has ever, ever embarked on the podcast journey, it is, it takes it out of you. And I realize now why people do it as a full-time job. Um, Whereas for me, of course, it's it's an addition to my full-time job with Mother's Helpers as well as my private practice. So yeah, you can imagine it was just getting a little bit overwhelming. So I took a bit of a break. And then when I got back, what I discovered was that I'm having some technical issues. So one of the things that has happened, and you, no one ever feels sorry for me when I tell, tell them the situation. First of all, my laptop died while I was in France. And even though it's under warranty, it's the second, and it's only five months old, it's the second one that has died under warranty. Um, And I'm away from home, and so it's quite complicated to send it back. And so I got a replacement temporary laptop, which is kind of actually an iPad or whatever with a keyboard. And it is just not really coping with all the things that I need it to do. So between that and I've gone from France to Greece and the internet is not coping with me uploading huge files. So in other words, I'm not able to bring you our usual um, podcast episodes. And so it's kind of, there's been a bit of radio silence, there's been these big big gaps in between. Normally we're dropping episodes on a Wednesday. So I had to think about what we can do and I think what would be, what I thought might be a good idea, and this is just, um, this is just me just rolling with it, just going with the flow, which is a really good thing to do in life if, you know, you, you hit... You hit something that's, you hit a bit of a a roadblock, you know, you find a different way. Um, So, um, and I I get that no one's feeling sorry for me that I'm in France and and then followed by Greece at the moment. Um, And after this, I'm in Romania and then Thailand and then home. So, (laughs) So in other words, I don't really have a lot of control over my internet speed or technology issues until I'm back in back home in November. So um, until then, I thought what I might do is just check in with you once a week and just give you, um, while we're kind of, while I'm interviewing people and editing those episodes, um, when I get home to New Zealand um, and sending them out, I thought that I might just do a bit of a 10 minute check in with you um, each week and this is something that I was planning on doing next year anyway. I've got quite a lot of um, interviews that I really really want to do. One of them is with Hinamoa Alda um, and there's these others as these others as well and I just, you know, I want to talk about, you know, mental health amongst Māori, amongst Pacifica, um, different cultures. Um, I've already done an interview with Aram Kim, who is a psychiatrist. Um, He has a lot of contribution to the Asian mental health community. Um, So he's amazing. The interview was amazing, and I learned so much from it. So um, I want to talk to the Rainbow community um, about mental health um, and you know lots and lots of different um, angles and and perspectives to mental health Um, so that's not going to stop happening I was wondering you know I I I kind of feel like I get the feeling that you know for those of you who are looking at having to look after your mental health um, 
maybe because you've got depression or anxiety, maybe you've got ADHD, maybe you're autistic, maybe, you know, any whatever is going on in your life, or maybe you're just someone who just wants to look after yourself because, you know, sometimes these mental health conditions force us to look after our mental well-being but in an ideal world we should all be looking after our mental well-being so I was thinking that maybe as you're driving to work taking a break from work or study or just going off to sleep that you might just want to put on a 10-minute podcast um, just checking in about your mental health Um, so that's what I thought that we could do while I'm while I'm, you know, traipsing around Europe, <laughs> um, particularly, but but you know, going in, uh, going heading into the new year, as well, um, that we could just have this sort of ten minute check in. As you know, um, I'm a registered social worker and a and trained in counselling. I've been working in mental health for a long time, and uh, it is a specialty of mine. And yeah, I guess I just um, I just really felt that one of the things that I could talk about this time around. So you know, I've been thinking about music lately, and I've been thinking about how music helps my mental health. And for many of you, I imagine it helps your mental health. And I'm thinking that. One of the, I'm just giving a little tip about one of the things I do. So as much as I love traveling, and I really, really do, I don't like the process of getting from A to B, um, particularly if it involves an airport or if I'm on a train and it's really hot and really packed or on a, on a metro and it's really, you know, jam-packed um, and I'm lugging suitcases or, you know, um, there's just too much sensory overload I suppose Um, and so one of the ways that I manage that is um, I put on my headphones and I select my music and I just enter into my own little world so that no matter what is going on no matter what I can I can see around me um, no matter how temperature I feel I, it's just sustaining me through that and sometimes um, the music that I select is pretty loud um, and sometimes it's pretty fun and sometimes it's super super relaxing and sometimes it's even some meditations um, that I may put on so it just really depends on what I feel like I need in that moment. Um, sometimes the noise from my headphones is too much and I need to dial it back and listen to some nature sounds or something so it's um it's a bit of a go-to for me and it it helps me to control my environment a wee bit particularly if there are sounds around me that are getting to me um no I'm not autistic um (laughs) but I am you know, I am affected by noise and um, and by, you know, certain, anything that I find uh, a little bit overwhelming, I find that this really, really helps me to cope with it, helps me to cope with crowds, helps me to cope with cues, um, yeah, all sorts of things. So I thought I'd share that little tip. I've even, I've even used it when my my son was really small and um, being particularly grisly, I was still attending to him. I was still um, able to hear him and I was still able to respond to him. But because I had my music in my ears, it also helped to calm me so that my response was calm. So just a few little tricks or tips this week um maybe maybe you could share how you use your music or how you use sound and music um to help your mental health you're welcome to check us check us out on facebook um find us 
on Instagram. So I'll catch up with you next week. You take really good care of yourself and speak to you soon. If you would like to talk about any of the issues raised in this episode, you can book a counselling session with me, Christina Grace, at getoutofthefog.org. If you are a mum living in Aotearoa, New Zealand, and you're feeling distressed, come and talk to a clinician at Mother's Helpers. It's free. Go to mothershelpers.org.nz or phone 0800 002 717. That's 0800 002 717. If you are in crisis, please contact your local crisis team. Numbers are provided in the show notes. To carry on the conversation, you can like Out of the Fog on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash getoutofthefog.org. All Mother's Helpers, facebook.com nz Mother's Helpers. You can find us on Insta at Get Out of the Fog or NZ Mother's Helpers. We'd love to hear your suggestions for future topics. Thanks to Athel for our beautiful theme song, Fog and Fire. You can find the full song by Athel on Spotify. And thanks to our amazing guests and our producers of the show. Most of all, thanks to you, our listeners. I hope you'll join me next week for another episode. See you then.